The UK government is being sued for awarding a pest control company with 16 employees a $135 million PPE contract. Here's a summary of the article. The UK government is being sued for awarding a company with just 16 employees a £108 million to supply it with personal protective equipment at the height of its coronavirus outbreak. The UK has signed around 100 PPE contracts with various private sector companies, according to the group. The Pestfix contract made up almost a third of this. The Good Law Project say it had spoken with a big market participant which told them that no one in the market knew that the contract was up for grabs. It's hard to imagine a good reason why this contract would be given to this company selection. And failures in PPE provision make it vital we understand where procurement is going wrong, the Good Law Project said. Pestfix has defended its contract with the government. It told the Financial Times on Monday, we are a success story. We have not been sitting around on social media casting around for equipment. We had a thriving supply chain with China before the contract. We have nearly fulfilled our NHS contract and supplied over 67 million pieces of equipment. This post received a score of 20,000, with an upvote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Who owns Pestfix? Edit, Dan and Matt England apparently. Greater than Dan and Matt England these sound like made-up names from a cartoon. Do they secretly work for Vladimir Russia? British London, but Mark, British London. Doesn't that sound a bit, you know, fake. Unexpected peep show. This reads a bit like that time the government awarded a virtually non-existing ferry company a contract for £13 million to run ferries post-Brexit, for a company that had literally no ferries. Edit, here's a Guardian article on it. Friends with benefits. Friends with ferries would have been better edit, thanks for silvery goodness kind stranger. A friend with breast and all the rest. A friend who's dressed in leather. A friend in need, is a friend indeed, but a friend with weed is better. Our thoughts compressed which makes us blessed and makes for stormy weather. Happened in my country too. The head of administration of material reserves awarded contract to company with four employees existing for three weeks for price four times the other company was offering a week prior. It turned out the head of reserves was stocking up reserves on Minthrower, mortar spare parts and his 20-yo son bought two luxurious flats in the capital city center. Is this Slovakia? Are almost the same in Slovenia, except here they made up a rule of having to buy shit through a mediator instead of straight from the company. A bunch of family members of government officials then applied for it with shell companies existing for only a couple of weeks, similar to you, a company with four employees then instantly became the biggest PPE seller overnight. Oh and the price doubled of course. Then the government investigated itself and found no wrongdoing. So, this begs the question, which Tory minister has friends in the company or friends with investments in the company? Answer, all of them, but mostly Matt Hancock. Tories, we will investigate ourselves and be found completely innocent. Fuck the citizens and taxpayers. Huzzah. Also vote for us next election, lol. They don't have to ask for votes that tabloids deal with that for them. That's like the time when the Australian government gave nearly half a billion dollars to a company with only six employees, without going to tender, to try and save the Great Barrier Reef. What happened? Was the Great Barrier Reef saved? I'm not up to date with Great Barrier Reef news. No it's pretty fucked and getting worse. Anyone worked out which MP is related to or has stakes in the company yet? AAI Group contributed £200 to Pestfix Crowdfunder. The company did a crowdfunder the other month so they can make and donate as much PPE and to care homes. On a serious note though, there's a chance the company won the job fair and square, and just happened to look on Contracts Finder and put together a proposal in the few days it was up. In which case the government put out a horrendously executed and completely uncompetitive tender, otherwise, this just stinks of something a little more comingsy or under the table. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.